Hey, y'all, I'm back. Welcome back, Kata. Okay, let's get into it. Just three quick things I wanted to talk to y'all about. As soon as I was done recording the other one, I saw uh, this and I was like, hold on a second. Let's get into it. According to page six, uh, here we go. Let's scroll down. Chris Brown breaks up fight between Sean Diddy Combs' sons and Ray J at a Halloween party, says the source. Chris Brown broke up a fight between Sean Diddy Combs' sons and Ray J at a Halloween party in Los Angeles, in Los Angeles, a source tells page six, the bad boy records founders, three sons, Quincy Brown, 33, Justin Combs, 30 and Christian Combs, 26, got into a heated altercation with the former Moesha actor outside unruly agency CEO Tara Electra's Halloween bash Saturday, we're told. Our source says that the party, which was filled with celebrities, was a fun environment. However, things took a turn after the festivities ended when Ray, born Willie Ray Norwood Jr., went to the parking lot with Amber Rose and his manager, David Weintraub. I think that's how you say it. Our source claims the Combs men surrounded the singer because they were upset about Ray's recent comments about their father, Sean, who is currently awaiting trial on ex trafficking charges. When the party ended, all three of the brothers were talking ish to Ray. And he was ignoring it because he was with Amber. The men allegedly got in each other's faces and began chest bumping each other. Why don't they just swing like instead? Well, I don't know. Um, the men. Oh, yeah, I said that chest bumping each other. However, Chris Brown, 35, witnessed the quarrel from his car and quickly intervened. What? OK. According to our source, who added that he and Weintraub, which is Ray J's manager, prevented the argument from becoming any more physical. A source tells us that the brothers approached Ray J 43 on three different occasions about remarks he's made about the revolt co-founder 54. Ray J is always going to stand his ground on what he says, but he never has. And but he has never said anything negative about Diddy's situation, the source says. TMZ was the first to report the story. Page six has reached out to reps for Brown, Ray, and the Combs sons, but did not immediately hear back. Last month, the one wish crooner said other celebrities would be exposed in light of Sean's ex trafficking arrest. He said, I've been around long enough to know that when there's smoke, you'll always find fire. I think that with the market in our world being so cornered and you have this crew of people at the top who make all the decision, it's like a house of cards. When one falls, the whole deck comes down. Ray predicted that we'll be seeing a lot of this, including celebrities and people in power who may decide to step down or be exposed after facing similar claims. I think that's just where we are in the game. The one, the one-on-one -on -one, um, alum continued. I think a lot. Oh, one on one. Yeah, yeah. That show. Who was that with? Was that with Flex? Y'all remember? I forgot about. Wait, was that? Anyway, I think a lot of people have a very long success story at times. And then sometimes the fall is harder. You can't kick everybody down. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty. Listen. His son said not today. I know we all have our thoughts on his son's. Um, defending him and all of that. I just have to remember that that is their father. Now, I will say, with that being said, they're adults. One of the sons has charges about him harassing, I believe, a woman against him already and may have been around for the things. So I don't know, y'all. What is the point? I guess, did they want him to like answer back before they decided to fight him or not? Or did they just want to have a conversation? But it, but it seems like allegedly Chris Brown broke up what was getting ready to be a fight. Or was there really just going to be a lot of chest bumping? I mean, I guess Ray J didn't try to get back to his car and come back with a backpack like he did with Lim from Zeus. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It, the whole thing is a mess. Let's get into some more Bravo news, y'all. Tamra Judge calls out RHOC fans for saying nasty, horrible things about her, reveals what Bravo allegedly told her about backlash, plus says laws on social media need to change. Mm, y'all about to cough. I'm going to let y'all tell her in her own words. Hold on. I mean, I'm going to let her tell y'all, child. Talking about people's weight and their looks and all, it's just death threat. Like that is just... Yes. It's gross. I think that they need to change the laws. 
I mean, I, I obviously get like people are welcome to their opinion, but who does that? I don't know anybody in my circle that would ever comment or say things like people do on Instagram these days. Yeah. Let's watch it again. I'm not going to lie, but hey, they can't stop talking about me. So it's not exactly a bad thing. Yeah. I think the hardest thing is, is like these people are saying such nasty, horrible things and calling me mean. Like, look in the mirror. Um, one thing that Bravo told me, they're like, don't even worry about them. Like, they're 3% of our viewers. Yeah. Only 3%, and they're the loudest and the meanest. I think that Instagram has gotten to a place that is just so gross. The comments to people and talking about people's weight and their looks and all. It's just death threat. Like, that is just, yeah. it's gross. I think that they need to change the laws. I mean, I, I obviously get like people are welcome to their opinion, but who does that? I don't know anybody in my circle that would ever comment or say things like people do on Instagram these days. Yeah. Now I have a question. Y'all remind me. She said, or y'all answer my question. She said, who talks about people's looks? Didn't she call Emily Shrek a couple seasons back? I'm, I'm just asking. And she may have changed since then, right? Because I do find sometimes it's hard because we will bring up what someone did in their past to kind of like prove a point or make a point. But also, yes, people are allowed to grow. The problem for me with Tamara is that I don't think she's grown. So she's everything that she's saying, she does herself. But is she justifying it? Because I guess that's her job versus people on social media. Like I do get if people are saying Tamara calls people names or or is mean to people and then they turn around and be mean to her it is kind of like well I mean you are doing what you're calling her out for however in fairness some of these people Tamara says are her friends whereas social media folks aren't calling you their friends and being mean to you they're just reacting off of what you did so listen I do believe social media can go too far like the people calling CPS on Cardi B like, that's crazy. They did it to Nicki Minaj well, earlier this year. Like, that stuff is so crazy and out of pocket. And allegedly, there were people calling Dr. Heavenly's office um, when she was recapping Love and Marriage Huntsville with Carlos. So I just think definitely social media can go far. I mean, even doing this here, there's people that can be nasty and comment sometimes or on my Instagram page. It's like, okay. That's why if I comment on somebody... Paige, I do ask myself, why are you commenting? Are you commenting because you really want to engage in conversation? Or do you really want someone to see, well, maybe look at it this side? Or are you commenting to be a troll? Because let's be uh, human nature. Like, I can say something on somebody's page knowing it's like, I don't really care. I'm just here to be a troll. So I'm not going to blow up their comment section. But sometimes I will comment if I'm like, oh, well, wait a minute. What about X, Y, and Z? A lot of times I try to comment like, comment if I'm laughing at something like there are sometimes I'll do like full sentence comments but a lot of times I like commenting on funny stuff like when stuff makes me crack up out loud um so yes social media can go too far but two things can be true you have reflected everything that you said you dislike about what's being said about you but hey bravo told you not to worry about it because we're only three percent not we as in me or us but the people that comment to you I guess are only three percent so I guess we'll see next season. Moving on. <sighs> I am all for people doing whatever. I know I hate when people say, oh, does everybody need a podcast? Everybody has a podcast. Podcast is a new thing, new thing to do. And I think I feel like that because, again, in this area over here, I've been doing it for four years. But in total, I've been podcasting since 2016, right? Eight years. So when I think about it, sometimes it's like, and that's partly personally me, like feeling like, oh, I, if I was doing my other one, who knows, I could have been much further or could I be much further with this one? So sometimes based on how you feel about yourself or your art or your work or where you're at with it, you can take those comments as a shot like, well, dang. But I had to learn that people, I mean, there are a million people with podcasts. I'm glad because there's so many different things to talk about, or it could be the same subject. And people talk about it five different ways. I listen to, like, I'm subscribed to so many different YouTubers. They all may talk about the same thing. And I want to hear all their different perspectives. And even if their perspective is the same, their deliveries are different. So I love that. I love that with podcasts. 
I listen to so many podcasts about the same thing, but I love their creators for the way they deliver it, right? Hopefully people feel the same about me. Um, but with this one here, I got to be honest. I shook my head and was like, child, what is they going to be talking about? But I got to be fair and say, hey, they may have a lot to talk about it. So according to Deadline, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sa Sonia Richards-Ross and Marlo Hampton to co-host the Real Close Friends podcast. Now, I'm not going to lie. The cover is pretty. I'm going to show y'all. And I'm saying that because I need I need to do a revamp. Me and Corey were just talking about that. I may wait till the new year, but I definitely need to change my picture because my face is a little slammer <laughs> than the first one. And then just, I just want a new, I want a different one. So theirs is, a, I like it. Look, y'all, ain't that pretty? I do like the cover. It gives... It gives Marlo, like it gives, like just not your average podcast cover. I do like it. Um, so let's get into the article. It says, former The Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Sonia Richards-Ross and Marlo Hampton are set to co-host The Real Close Friends podcast for Audio Boom. A network need to pick me up. Anyway, if y'all know anybody, I'm just saying. Olympian Richards Ross and former RHOA co-star Hampton have partnered to launch a new podcast starting October 31st. The duo will discuss celebrity news, viral moments, memes, fashion, and sports, giving authentic and often contradictory perspectives on the latest hot topics. On the Real Close Friends podcast, sorry, I have something on my lip. We will share authentic conversations and the sisterhood that we've built over the years, says Sonia Richards Ross. Our fans have only seen snippets of our friendship on TV, but this podcast allows us to give them an up and close, wait, allows us to give them yeah, an up close and personal. It's the way they wrote this. Y'all, I'm gonna read the sentence again. It ain't just me. Our fans have only seen snippets of our friendship on TV, but this podcast allows us to give them an up close and personal of our chats about pop culture moments, trends, and our personal lives. I'm thrilled to be on this journey with Marlo. So many people don't know that she truly is one of my closest friends. Hampton added, working with Sonia always feels like home. We've been through so much together, and now we get to share our unfiltered opinions, experiences, and advice with our listeners. The Real Close Friends is all about the tea that we exchange in our DMs and private messages, and we can't wait for everyone to tune in and be a part of the conversation. Ty Perry and Justin Perry created the Real Close Friends podcast, which will be produced by Produced by Driven by LMG and Jen slash US Studios. We're thrilled to welcome Marlo and Sonia to the Audio Boom Creator Network, says Brandon Regan, Audio Boom's chief content officer. The Real Close Friends will have unique access to market leading technology, distribution, and commercial services that will help deliver incredible value and opportunity. Richards, Ross, and Hampton both exited the Real Housewives of Atlanta after wrapping season, rapping season 15. Richards, Ross, left the reality series following two seasons while Hampton announced she was leaving, leaving after being a main housewife for two seasons and a friend of since season four. Among many of their endeavors, Richards Ross has been an NBC sports analyst and Hampton is the owner of Lay Archive, a showroom in Atlanta that gives stylists access to her clothing and accessories archive. So look, I know hater, congratulations to them. I do hope that their podcast is successful and hey, what better way to make money and basically than to work with your friend? Cause it won't feel like work. Y'all are having fun and hopefully having authentic conversation. Again, shout out to them. Child, I'm looking at they, cause I've been getting ideas for mine uh, covered. I'm, I'm looking at theirs like, I like that. I do like the way it's shot, but y'all let me know. Y'all think, will y'all tune in and give it an ear? It's coming out on Halloween. Boo. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. See ya.